confident Complexity's got this, and I agree with them. Complexity, and last pick Chaos Knight, that seemed like a gimme, Blitz. It did, and I think I told you too, I said, if Complexity picks CK, is GG. Is GG indeed, and King win. There's still a whole entire game to play out. They're gonna have to start with a draft that looks good from everyone's opinion, including ours. But we'll have to see what they can do inside of the game. Because they've got a Vengeful Spirit, they've got a Razor, they've got a lineup that can snowball pretty quickly. Yeah. Right? With a lot of physical damage, they can win certain fights, they take Roshan, they get some objectives. Next thing you know, they are uh, far away ahead. This Kyle guy is really smart. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Just like, I like the clap that he did. Like, ah, we got Chaos Knight. Hey, Swindles. Man. Not the best captain, but Kyle. Kyle. Oof. Thank God. He's putting in swindles. work. He's putting in work. Yeah. Look how much better they got after they picked him up. Yeah. They're, they might even get another top four finish in a minor. Found that third brother. Oh, in that picture, too. Look at that, man. There is a pretty heavy smoke uh, from Complexity right now that we're currently watching that they are just shy being able to run into the doom and get themselves an easy first blood but not quite good enough it seems doom's gonna be hanging out at the tier two not taking any risk whatsoever and the rest of the queen king Gwyn have gone on full invasion mode yeah. so complexity are gonna have to break up this uh delicate affair What's up? Are you listening to the Chinese cast right now? No, I'm like, I know you don't speak Chinese. I was trying to figure out, like, what the crowd, well, like, what team do you think they, they're cheering for? There's got to be, like, just by population density, there's, like, four people in here that are probably a big fan of Kyle, right? <laughs> you know, I actually saw some, there were SG fans at uh, Hamburg. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, those there too. was a couple of uh, Brazilian guys who were who were already uh, in Europe for whatever reason went to Hamburg. So maybe there's a there's a wild NA fanboy here. Unlikely. Unlikely. They just want to see some good Dota, and that's what we're gonna see, right, Blitz? Yeah. This time around, the Gyrocopter versus Razor Lane. Part two. Run Part it back. Two, but Run he's it back. got Io. Here's what you do. You let Z Freak get the last hits as usual. Mm. So when you static link the gyro, you're like, who cares? The real carry. <laughs> the real carry is this Wisp who has no uh, who has no turn rate. And he's gonna get the uh, the auto shotty too. Imagine a carry that had no turn rate. You know, a range carry that just was able to run backwards and right click you. You're about to see one, dude. Mm. Kyle is gonna be playing his signature less track. There is, they, they run some unusual five positions for Kyle, you know? Like they run the, they were spamming the Kunkka a whole lot. They've got his left track. These Misha, another homing this are one. such weird lanes. They really are. They have a tri-lane doom, an off-lane solo avenge. It's not really an off-lane because she gets the one-on-one -on -one against the Sand King. And I don't know if she's too broken up about that. They just don't want the doom versus the Sand King, right? Because that's an auto loss lane. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Melee's against Sand King. Ooh. He's like one of the few heroes that Timbersaw doesn't like. And at the same time, he can't sit in alone in lane against a Chaos Knight because he's a hero with zero armor. So the minus armor and the physical damage that comes out from Chaos Knight is far too much for him to handle. Yeah, and Kyle is just beating these two heroes back. And he's got the Wisp here too. They managed to get a one second stun on the LD. Sash trying to set up for the last track stun. Not able to do so. They actually really Turn good and strong. Down. They're going to start running back Z Freak. Now here comes Patos, but here comes the move as well. Apparently Complexity is going to bring four members here. They're going to pop the mango, easily get this ogre kill. And they're going to give it to Z Freak, the true carry of the team. That's what I'm telling you, dude. You were right all along, Blitz. Just like always, oh, he freaked didn't quite make it up the cliff. Like always. Catsor. I appreciate that. No problem. That's the synergy. But at bottom lane, they do swap things up. It's going to probably force Doom up to top. That means the Venge is now going to go all the way bottom. I do think that this is the swap to make. Because I don't know if the Doom gets to do anything at bottom lane. Like, he's just going to sit there. But they have, like, a more natural lane. Now you're putting a Venge in an aggro position, which I think is much more favorable for you. If they don't decide to swap. Yeah. So now Complexity should be pretty happy with this setup. But shouldn't you be kind of unhappy about the fact that you're 2v1ing the Razor and he's beating you out in CS? Like oh, this, he is. Is, this isn't a lane that beat the 
Razor, right? Yeah, this is now the second game that I've seen them go to this, and I'm I'm not sure like what it's supposed to accomplish. It's a bit different now that uh, the unstable current doesn't like cause you to purge yourself when you do cast the rocket on him, but yeah. at the same time, like Nisha does not care. Like he's already level four. Yeah. And this Gyro is level two, but this is the third time that they've gone for it, and might I say unsuccessfully. So it's I'm like, not, it's I, like the, to... I mean, the complexity have been in the past quite stubborn about their strategies, right? They they ran the core Jakiro, uh, what was that, like that a year ago? The mid Jakiro that they ran over and yeah. over again. That won some games though. So that far, won some games. Data Dude. has shown us that Gyro has not. Yeah, it's not winning them. Like he's getting handled in mid right now. It's almost a two level advantage. All three oh, cores geez. doing quite well for themselves. This Doom is actually profiting quite nicely out of bottom lane. And with so much movement, it's not even like our side lanes are doing all that well. They're actually uh, a little bit low in CS, open C free. Step running into uh, Katsuri, he does manage to find Haste Rune. And is just going to keep running, see if he can hit the stun on Limp. Gives up on it. Just going to come in and poke, but not much happening as the Razor continues to just get like a two level advantage. Uh, Nisha going on Z Freak might even get him. One more hit would do it. Oh, and he's got him. Homing missile is going to do a lot of damage for the Razor, but Limp has no physical damage left with 36 taken away. Now, TV's up to this top lane. Jesse is going to be able to nail the stun. Joined by Moo. Complexity just keep on moving these two cores into the same lane the moment they feel just a little bit in danger. Bring the necessary numbers to make sure they do manage to pick up kills. Another homing missile down to 70 HP, and Limp still can't go and try and challenge the Razor and go for that kill. Yeah, with no rocket brush, he doesn't threaten at all. And even if he did have mana for the fly cannon, I don't know if the Razor cares. Like every hit stealing, less than 20 hit, 20 a hit. Yeah. Uh, Gyro already has pretty bad base damage to begin with, so the Razor getting this far ahead on top of the static link that he steals. Even two or three seconds ruins the CSing ability. Moo. Okay, Nietzsche actually just keeps on running into him, does manage to get the static link off. Moo not going for the stun there. Nietzsche is having his way with this lane right now. On top of that, he did manage to get a solo kill onto the Wisp. Wait, so what? what was the point of that? Why did I, they go I, mid if they weren't going to try for the burrow strike and see what happened? Oh. Awesome. I, it, I think they're maybe kind of tilting a little bit. Yeah. Like in the sense that they want to grab this Razor kill, they realize that this lane is going poorly, they lost the hero, and now it's going to be Limp. And now Limp, if he gets hit by the Intel Sun, they do have Z Freak to help him out, and a TP from Kyle. Spooks Kinguin from going for that aggressive move. But every single time, like, they've got to rotate a lot of heroes. Because of uh, Moose rotation off the top, he also loses down in that bottom lane. He had to make his way all the way from top to bottom. And during that time, the Doom just farms away, gets even further ahead with that Devour. He wants to try to Doom move Highest at bottom. CS by far for the Doom, but 25 and 22. 22 denies for Nisha. There goes the Doom. Successful Doom onto Moo. Now he has to go into the trees, tuck himself away, and see if he can just dodge all of the follow-up spells that are going to be thrown at him, especially the Ignite that's going to look to slow him down. They lead with a stun first. Kato's trying to close in, but the Doom is going to wear out here. Now Moo can turn if he wants to. He does have the Epicenter, but Elisash is quite tanky, so just happy to survive. Moo will back out. Yeah. Force the first Doom doesn't do too much, but it's still lane control. Uh, this Doom, like, doesn't even flinch, just continues to go back to farming. That's the upside, though, of tanking. When he has a Trinkles, yeah. he just runs away. And he actually tries to wrap on mid, but Elisash spots him out. Another rocket falls on Anisha, who continues to not really be prepared by this. Stud here in the top lane. They do manage to get a two-man burrow strike move. This is a really successful rotation if they can get both of them, but it looks like a TP out from Cancer is successful. So it's only going to be Exotic Deer's Vengeful Spirit who ends up going down. Oh. Still the carry. And this is the lane that they have to focus on now. The other lanes, I think, have gone a little bit too poorly. Chessie's going to have to pull you out of this hole. Just like he tried to do with the Legion Commander game. 
But this time he's on a little bit more fitting hero. Like last time it was the Dryocopter, he was like he's kind of the better carry, right? The lead to commander. But there's no question, Chaos Knight is the big hitter for this game. Yeah, and he has to be. Once again, he's got an inordinate amount of pressure on him. The Legion game, you can't really fault him for too much. I know people are going to see that he messed up once or twice, but uh, even if he plays that perfectly, I think it's a little bit of a rough game for him. Yeah, look how scared this Chaos Knight is. Because he knows that these heroes, like the other heroes are independent on the side of Kingwood. But this big game... On the range of the center. They really want this kill. It looks like they should be able to bring him down with a massive damage. And that is a big difference. This time around, the Razor is facing a lot of magic damage. Kingwin try and go for the dive against the Chaos Knight since they did show so many heroes there in the middle lane. Try and go for the dive, but Chessie, as you saw, has been playing very patiently. Oh. Pulls Katsor back, but doesn't get the hit in. So the, the Impale does manage to land, meaning the stun's not going to land inside of the tower range, and Chessie's not able to go for the kill just yet. Moose joining him, though. Very nice Impale. Should have died right there. Yeah. That was a really nice reality rip from Chessie. But I think he overthought things. In that play, I think you just go for the stun anyways. Uh, even if you get hit by the spike carapace, the level one duration is really low. It's less than a second. Top three net worth on the board. All going to the Kingwin members, but that's kind of been every single game. Is that their cores get really farmed, but the supports on the side of complexity are a little bit boosted. Yeah, they do a lot better, but Penguin supports, especially the Ogre, doesn't require any Dude, Moose has been chilling out here this whole entire time, and finally he's gonna find his opportunity to get aggressive and punish Capsule for the dive. Yeah, look at that. You pop the spike, therapist level one, nobody really cares. Yeah. It's off so quickly. A tie to the I was asking the Absor about that. About maxing it or something? Yeah, the spike carapace max. What do you say? He just kind of shrugged and said, "Longer stuns." I was like, "All right, fair enough." I mean, there were a lot of abilities in that game where he could get easy spike carapace. Yeah, stuns, so. I think Mana Burn has more utility later on in the game. Yeah, whereas like the spike carapace, it sets up into your stun, which no, is important. I was talking about the zero or one one four build. That one one four. Yeah, he did that for one of the one of the secret. Games. A lot of stun. Yeah, he's a lot of stun very early. The on. base duration of Impale is better, anyways. Yeah, so and, I can see that. And the lower cooldown as well. There's a lot of little things, but it's definitely not what we're used to seeing. Sure. So we can see from this Nyx assassin, and he's going the normal build. 4 1 1 build. Doom at bottom has Doom available. Dude, Complexity's doing a great job of reading when King would want to go for these dives. This time around, it's going to be Limp at the bottom lane, and he's already countered it. He's managed to get the missile out with the ultimate, and he is going to be able to slide right on Pi. Pato's not able to get the Doom initiation he was searching for, and they're not even close to bringing down the tower either. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. What's the follow up though? Like, what's the counter here? They start pushing out top themselves. That's a little bit later. They have Edict though. I mean, surely they gotta defend one of these towers. If it's not bottom, it's gotta be middle. Yeah. Z I think the mid one is doing more right now with his orbs. Z Freak trying to avoid getting spiked. Okay, that's gonna be Static Link on cooldowns to the Chaos Knight. Uh, Katsor, that is not a way out anymore. We've all made that mistake, my friend. We've all made that mistake. But that is, there's no longer a passageway through those trees. Oh, is there not? No. You have to cut down some trees to go through. So this area right here? Yeah. That little hole. I see. Oh, oh. so you're going to have to relocate down to bottom lane. Exotic Deer, a very immobile core in Vengeful Spirit, is going to be caught by the gank from Lu and Z Freak. Really well set up by Dak. And they're going to blow the epicenter for it as well. 7 to 1 right now. Complexity, though, are not ahead by that much net worth. I want to stress that. They've been getting all the kills, but they've also been grouping up a ton to be able to get some kills that are honestly not that important. The exotic deer kill was fantastic, but I'm thinking like the four man top to be able to kill the Nyx assassin. So yeah. the kill the kill score is gonna be a little bit misleading. It is because every single time somebody on King One dies, the other two cores just continue to farm. And it's a significant advantage. Although I think they're tired of it, so they're gonna go for a smoke yeah. of their own. There is a limit to these things. Apparently, Exotic Deer not wanting to join them. He's trying to build towards his Mask of Madness right now. But they're going to use Nisha. And that's the big guy right now. Nisha is hard to fight. So whoever they run into, and it looks like they're going to go for Moo here. It's got a hard kill to get, but if they can, can get him, it's going to be a tier one tower mid. Yeah. 
and that's Kessler. fantastic. Kessler. 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 Great start move. Turns around, goes to the burrow strike. Goes to get off onto the Doom. No ultimate being thrown just yet. Instead, just trying to nuke him down. And they're going to try and run him down with the help of Nisha, but they're not able oh, to get it. No. Spam him the things, too. Moose says, see you later. King Winner just going to have to try and take a tier one tower, and that should be successful. He did a very good job of that. The stun placement. He yeah. could have just gone for the easy one and tried to make his way up to the left, but I think he dies in that case. What he does, though, is he stuns up the Doom. So he can't get doomed. Create some distance between him and the rest of the heroes. You, uh, Kyle. What you doing there, Kyle? Kyle is gonna tank the gank for his team. He's, he's making space, as the kids say. Look at him go. So much space. He's gonna get stunned. Yeah. There's no way he makes that up. Yeah. But space, bottom lane. All right, a little bit off on that timing, but it's okay. It's still a creep wave. That's all yours, buddy. There's no one around. Has the four levels of flak now. And What's the has, ancient situation? And he has the mask of madness. Yeah. It's kind of important, I feel. There's a lot of ancient sex, by the way. Yes. There Much is. better gyro game. And a double damage to top lane. Yeah. Pick that up. Yeah. Make things a little bit easier. His recovery's been a lot more smooth in this game than it has in the previous one. Yeah. And that but game. it could all be shut down by Patos here, who's got a shadow blade coming in pretty quickly. He's gonna spot the ancient sec too. He's pinging like crazy. He wants a ward up there. Yeah. So that they can contest eventually. Well, they've already got the ward in place. Smoke up from complexity. Wrapping around on mid, just like Kingwood did earlier. But the difference is there's a Nyx assassin. And he just popped that smoke, not running into the sentry just yet. Now he is, but complexity are not in position to punish him. They're pinging like crazy. Right now, I think Kingwood should just invade this jungle area which they have control the ancient so you never allow complexity to get that with ease mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the correct way to do this unfortunately for them though Lim still has a different ancient sack that you can play off of. yeah and, and they're gonna get that other ancient sack eventually right King would do not have the heroes to steal no but they were trying to slow it down with whatever means they could but they're unaware of this one yeah and Lim much better farm in this game. It felt like last game he was just always catching up. Like yeah. he was behind the pack at all times. This time around, getting a lot more farm. No hum of Dom on him. Straight for the Mask of Madness. Disaster. Trying to scout out some of these heroes. That's going to be another sentry placed out. That dude. Look at Katsor. He knows there's a the high chance that there's a sentry there and running into the high ground makes it a little scary. He does run into the sentry now, but Chessy gave up on that push. Looks like he starts pushing forward, but then move. Kyle gonna go for the kill on the exotic gear. Uh, hero that is so susceptible to magic damage, and they've got to get spades here. Trying to blow up exotic gear just enough, but now they can turn on LD. Talk. She's already under half HP, and Kyle dishes it out right now. He's able to take another hero down. Of course, he is surrounded by Kingwood members. Trying to put on his juke shoes, not gonna happen though. Catsorm does manage to land that stun, but a two for two trade where they bring down Exotic Deer and create a lot of space for the rest of Complexity's heroes. Yeah, I think they're gonna be pretty happy about that. They've got vision of this bottom area as Pontus is gonna get stunned up. And something that we should mention, uh, that I think we mentioned in the draft, is that the Wisp is incredibly good against Doom as a hero. Yeah. Just because anytime anybody gets doomed, you just reset the fight. You take them a little bit further away. The Doom's not gonna do a whole lot as an independent damage dealer. You're gonna feel pretty safe in this game. And the Razor, a hero that traditionally just wants some fights, isn't really able to find anything. Like they're being denied the opportunity to go for the five man of their own, similar to last game. And it's just heroes getting picked off right now. Exotic Deer has a Mask of Madness himself, but is only level nine out of all the cores he's suffered by far the most. And another Ancient stack coming in, and this is the time that Complexity, they want to protect it. They're pinging their Gyro over. They want to secure this one. Chessie is strong enough to fight right now. They've got Relocate, there's no Doom up. They're even going to go for the D Ward here. Best opportunity for them, and Kingwin are way too late for this. Yeah, the Ancient Sack's pretty much already done. Really helped that they picked up that level 10 town, the extra damage for the Gyrocopter. Taking the flat cannon that much more effective. The sentry's already in place. They are going to be able to find the Nyx Assassin late. Another sentry, get the combo stuns to make sure there's no spike hair pace opportunity and go right back to clearing that ancient stack complexity, really ensuring there's going to be no contesting here. Yeah, very nice kill on that Nyx who continues to have a pretty rough game. Gasor has had some pretty good stuns, but. 
not found a whole lot of opportunities. And the initiation is going to be really awkward for Kingwood. Yeah. Uh, the more that I think about it, they have two Shadow Blades, no Blink Dagger on the Doom, which... The Shadow Blade is more of a scaling item, and it allows him to go for the solo pickoffs. But in terms of initiation, it's a lot weaker than the Blink Dagger. Yeah. So you're going to have to rely on Complexity not having sentries, but sentries will be readily available. Like, this is Kyle you're playing against. Yeah. Like, this man is made of sentries. He sees 200 gold. He's going to say, wow, another two sentries for my team. <laughs> Do you think part of that is that they just don't have a good answer to the risk? Right, like if Razor and Doom are very slow damage over time heroes. Yes. And if, countered by the Wisp heavily. And they don't have a good controller for the Wisp either. They've got to get to that backline somehow. And that's why I would have liked to see more of the Blink. Yeah. Because Nyx, as an independent force, it's difficult to initiate. Because you have to assume, and you just have to assume that, people are going to have sentries everywhere. Yeah. When you play against it. Especially if you're the lead stun. The only other option is you get exotic deer to swap in, but in a five on five fight, that's kind of death. That should be your last resort. Whereas for complexity, the fight setup is a lot easier. They've got Moon this time who understands that, has a blink dagger instead of the four staff. And the bottom lane, jump in. They are going to be able to find Nisha here with AoE damage from the magic plus the homing missile chasing bound. Nisha is just no chance of making it. They want more. Chessie knows man. the cat source over here. He's making his way through the jungle, barely misses on the reality rip, gets him this time though. Pull him back. Oh, no, no. that wasn't the reload he wanted. I think he got spike carapace off of his orb and couldn't kill the tether. Ah. And as a result, Cancer is going to be able to live, or at least for the time being, maybe not. Kyle starts running him down. They're going to try and go right for path? that kill at the same time going for Elisage. That's the easier one for sure. Yeah, and Elisage now dies for no reason. And the reason why this is happening, you're wondering. Uh, viewers like, why is Kingwood just dying around the map? It's because they can't start a fight. It's not easy for them. And so they're not willing to take one. But as a result, Complexity plays a lot faster than you. Like, they have plenty of ways to start fights. They can relocate in. They can just send up. Even the homing missile is relatively effective. They've got tons of stuns and follow-up. It's much easier for Complexity to start these fights. A flat already for our Wisp. 20 minutes in. He had an urn on top of that, plus Treads. He is sitting at 5,600 net worth right now. Way ahead even for the 60 damage. Hell yeah, I'm about that. You need to start right-clicking some fools. You hear about that life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got trends. 400 spirits <laughs> max range. I mean, is that even, is that super effective? I think it's uh, roughly the same in team fights, especially these team fights. I don't think if there's any uh, whole lot of heroes that you're trying to get your orbs on in the back line. All the damage counts on supports are underrated. All right, so here's the the engagement right now from Queen Quinn. They have to... Are they baiting out the Ogre right now? Four men smoking the Ogre. He's kind of baiting Chessie, and they are going to be able to get some of the here. Chessie trying to lock him down. The three men to get the static link on top of the swan back. Looks like they should be able to bring down that camp knight, but so is the Doom. He's also going to die, and that was one of the top networks of King Boy. But Nisha and Exotic Deer, they're still ready to find Exe Freak. He's going to be the next one down. Mu wants to still go for this, though, waiting for his blink. Barely able to live through the Doom. Our Triumphcopter is going to be okay. Three for two trade. That was probably the best set of circumstances. They laid down the sentry really late. If they have one right there, then they should be able to get the instant kill. But at the same time, Io wasn't able to relocate anybody out. Really needed to get somebody out of there. Yeah. Now, even though it was two for three, it looks like Kingwin are far enough behind that they actually got more gold out of that engagement yes. than Complexity did. Cole just have to be really careful about having sentries pretty much everywhere. Yeah. You can't allow King Oh, Quinn. the epicenter. And Moo's going to go for the solo kill. Do they have the relocate? It's coming up in a second. As the Wiz revives, are going to come for this kill and bring in Chessie. But the swap back, the Chaos Bolt still they pursues him. And they might be able to catch him, too. Oh, no. Did Ventral Spirit just swap and not even save Nisha's life? Indeed. Oh, no. The Burrow Strike catches him. And at bottom lane, it looks like Kyle almost dies to Katsor, but he's not able to finish him off just yet. He needs another Impale. And it's gonna five be a five seconds. seconds. If he can land it, he's good. Oh, okay, or LD's not coming. Oh, never mind. Secret's actually gonna be able to save his brother. Kyle's gonna be able to live through this as the Wiss just provides far too many heals. This Thanksgiving, I am thankful for my Wiss brother. <laughs> I think Kyle should be very thankful that Z Freak is stuck with complexity through thick and thin. Stuck? He chose this life. 
And he's going to be rewarded because right now they're headed to top four. The way that this game is going, because oh, I damn. still don't know how King Gwen is supposed to take fights. I forgot that it was top four. Yeah. Once you make it through this. I, King Gwen right now, like, they're getting picked off around the map because I mean, they need a farm, but it's not similar to last game where they had an Earth Spirit as a follow-up. Nyx is a very different hero. Like, this hero scouts for you, sure, but the stun is so unreliable. Cats are. You don't get to roll in halfway across the map and just, like, chuck stones at people. Yeah. You've got to get relatively close and hope that nobody moves. Like, you've got to line it up and place it. It's so rough. 6,000 gold lead and a very large Chaos Knight. And we were all saying that this is going to be a great Chaos Knight game. He has been shut down. In fact, he's probably about meeting expectations when it comes to farm. He is neck and neck with the Gyrocopter and the Duke. Who's currently the silver lining to King Wynn's very dark cloud. That is game three. And the bottom tower right now being taken. King Wynn are doing a very good job of mirroring uh, complexity. That yeah. is the one bright spot for them. Is, yeah, even though the score is 6 to 17 and a lot of the power is on the side of complexity, the net worth isn't outrageous quite yet. Yeah. And they do have a Doom. This is the benefit of the lineup. Is like Doom will shut down a lot of your net worth in a fight. But again, it kind of goes back to there's a Wisp on the other side. So if he gets the relocate tether out, well, your big team fight spell that has to win you the fight is out of commission. Plus, there's two carries on the field, right? The Gyrocopter and the Chaos Knight are both problems that you want to be able to do. Yeah, an exotic deer right now doesn't have enough farm. Yeah, he's got nothing. He, what is he supposed to do against the CK? He sees five illusions and the <laughs> Mask of Madness is away. Yeah. Like he can't fight into that. Not nearly strong enough. We saw last time what happened. He swapped in and instantly died. That was that was him assessing the net worths. He's like, whatever. Yep. <laughs> Gotta try to save Nisha. So once again, uh Kinguin most likely gonna have to give up this mid tower, but more man smoke up. They're not, the yeah, they're not only interested. Yeah, they're not only interested in the tower. They want to try and get that big fight that allows them to push high ground, right? With Phantasm. Yeah, Mu pushing forward, oh. but unable to find too much. Overreaching a little bit. Yeah. King Wynn, you need to shove out top. Exotic gear. Skips the wave up the top is how he should do it. And the rest of the team just needs to farm. Yeah, so they need to relocate. Yeah. Maybe they go high spirit. ground. I think they they have a decent shot of just and continuing to go. They've got Aegis, they've got Phantasm. There's no reason not to, right? They were trying to force a glyph. King has got this weird habit, though, of like letting this mid-tower just get beat on. A show of force is usually enough to send teams back. You, you show like three heroes in the front. Um, for the most part, like even if you don't pose a huge threat, it'll make the enemy team think twice. But complexity is getting old in every game they just walk up and hit towers. Yeah, they're they're just walking up there and doing a little bit more. Cause, yeah. cause like I, I do feel like oh, against geez. other teams, what King Gwen has done is very smart, just letting them just kind of poke at a high ground. Because it honestly has become very predictable. And me as a commentator, I'm always saying like, and they're gonna go poke at high ground and force them back, you know? So yeah. if it's become that predictable, you could so see your why solution King would do that. your solution is to let them just give up free tower yes. damage <laughs> for absolutely nothing. <laughs> Well, I mean, complexity. You saw what complexity did there, right? That's how they backed crazy. up on their own. Oh, bottom fight. Doom they got the Doom. Oh, Doom does manage to get off the BKB, so no follow up stun. Thankfully, that was a short stun. It looked like only two seconds, so Pantos is able to get out alive. But boy, does he need some armor. He's trying to build a Shivas right now. They're being top, by the way. They want to set up something on. By the way, your suggestion is like the same thing as you get into a street fight with someone and you just start punching yourself in your own face because they don't expect it. <laughs> what are you and like, do, it's a idiot? new meta. <laughs> I can't even hurt myself. I mean, I understand the street fight meta. <laughs> Apparently, you don't, Liz. I'm really behind I'm on the one time. Step ahead. I'm doing things wrong in my pub games if I'm not letting people just hit my towers <laughs> for free. <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> the complexity did back up on their own for the most part. That is the stupidest suggestion. <laughs> and there's no way that comp... There's no way those two things correlate. But I'll let you have it, you know? <laughs>
why is <laughs> that's what my, that's the question I posed to you, Blitz. Why are they punching themselves in their face? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they gotta go. They really have to get back sooner. Yeah. They they lost to tier three last game, pretty early because of that. Yeah. Oh, can you get the uh, can you get the wisp ag scepter bonus into the gyro so you give him on top of the yeah. Yeah, you give him the, the black upgrade. Oh, oh Pato is in trouble. The reload kick comes in. He can TP. Oh my god, he almost died anyway. Oh, that was a lot. That's a pretty cool synergy. Like, I think that item sucks on Daro, but if it's given to you for free, why not? No, dude. The better one is the Aghanim's Phantasm. The Aghanim's Phantasm is really cool. You can have many wisps. <laughs> Can't you choose which one you take? Yeah. The thing you, is, you, you would always do choose your yourself. Allies. You would yeah. always choose yourself. That that's why the joke. Yeah, okay. I that was a joke. What about Leshrac? Leshrac's pretty cool. Sand King. There's a lot of value in that Ags Wisp one. Maybe if they could all tether you. There's some value. Like if you send Gyro in with his Panta and you Phantasm him, you'd have a lot. Sure, why? But again, why would you just Phantasm the Chaos Knight then? I don't know, man. <laughs> Get some Naruto stuff going on. It, it'll be legit with the, uh, like, when he puts it on to Kyle. You know, and, like, in those sort of scenarios where he needs to uh, save Kyle. Yeah. Big upgrade and damage there. The Pulse Nova is a lot more. It's you like you get, get an additional level. You could preemptively do the Burrow Strike. So you tether onto the Sand King and he does a Burrow Strike initiation. Bleeds back. Mm. You know, mind game. Yeah, all of, them, all of them have one. So that's the cool part about this. Yeah. It's like a Wisp is an Alk, this game. But with none of the permanents, as Limp now finishes a Scotty. Electing to not go for a Lincoln, by the way. None of them are. Despite there being both the Razor Static and the Dupe. And the Swap. Yeah, there's a lot of major single target abilities. That's pretty much all of Kingwin. It's just a lot of single target. And this is, it's all fine if you don't have the Lincolns, as long as you're getting the initiation first. Yeah. As long as you're able to get off Phantasm. I think they're comfortable too because of the, the Wisp relocate. Yeah. Like if somebody gets doomed, who cares? Just let them use it. King Gwyn are going to go for a five-man smoke here. They push down bottom lane. Mid is decently pushed in as well, but Complexity are standing in a tough area. Yeah, they've got the high ground area completely locked in with sentries. They're going to spot the first one who pops the smoke and immediately blinks back. Uh, King Gwyn right now. So the reason why they're not making more active plays is because the only time they can go for kills is when they smoke, oh, which they is why they do it again. The smoke. Yeah, they're getting desperate now. They're going to go the long wrap around and see if they can catch complexity with their pants down. This is... They have one more smoke after this, and if that one fails... Oh, no, Chessy. Is he making the read right now? He's putting himself on that high ground. Moo. Okay, the smoke has popped on the Nietzsche. They don't have to The chest play comes out. Moo starts pulling himself away. Kyle's going to be caught. Exotic here. He's going to be pulling down. Now, Chessy first. Gets off a fan. Chessy first. He's going to jump in. They also threw down the two. Lift those. He's so much damage to the sky. He's man fighting everyone. And King with a blue. So badly, they managed to get the extra kill. He's just gonna be on trying to TP out. Moo locks onto him with the burrow strike and oh, they got him. Homing this little chasing down eventually. Yeah, he'll just also his corpse explodes and <laughs> in a venomous finale. 8 to 21 complexity winning that fight. 2 to 4. And they now open up Roshan up. So look at this replay. Uh yeah. Actually. Yes. Is this a replay? It's coming. Okay, okay, here we go. So they open up, they kill Kyle, but the CK gets his ult off, and they're all grouped around this call down. Yeah. And the flat cannon does so much. In the bottom, Moo just walks it in. They just chase everyone down. This gyrocopter is way too much of a menace. I mean, at the end of the day, Complexity did not care at all. No, Kyle they didn't. got initiated, right? Like, they, they need to prevent Phantasm from being used. They need to prevent, like, gyrocopter from getting out BKB flat cannon. Like, the Doom's got to do one or the other, and it didn't either. Yeah, they... I, that wasn't even that bad of a fight for them. Because they did get the majority of their spells off. They got some kills to start. But the same problems have existed in their lineup. They now have a Blink Dagger on the Nyx Assassin, so it's marginally better. But you need better follow-up from Doom. 
Like, you need a different way to get on top of heroes. I think they were not expecting to be in this kind of game. You have a hero like Ogre that can just, like, bloodlust, and maybe they get in a similar game. But this time around, they don't have Earth Spirit. They don't have this hero that initiates from such a far distance without Blink Dagger to start a fight for them. Like, they don't have this hero that just runs in, uh, forces the engagement. This time, Complexity, they get to choose how the fights start. And they have so much follow-up that it's so advantageous for them. A third smoke in just three minutes being used here. By I think this Kingdom. is the last one. If this one yeah. fails, then they're effectively just stuck into a farming game where they have to counter shove out lanes. Oh, they gotta try and sneak in Roche. Oh, they are. Complexity. Oh, boy. This is pretty fast. They find out. This is gonna be disaster for King Win. And the whole team is gonna area. start sitting in the ball. It's, oh, gonna, no. hit. it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. The road is dropping really low. They're gonna pop the AP. Three of them again, but now the jump is protecting. They managed to get a huge jump from Kyle. Who's all the AP? They're turning and fighting. The other player goes off into a lot of AOE damage. He's been fighting in the middle of the pit, but he dies. He does have the Aegis coming back, but it's again five more heroes of complexity. There's no way he makes it out of this one alive. Chessy. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage from him. He had the cheese, but why even blow it against that many heroes from Cole? And Kyle's fan is clapping in the background. <laughs> we have the he one is guy. so excited right now for complexity. Very smart heads up play. You saw that Z Freak was like, wait a minute, guys. Like, I gotta, I gotta at least check this. Yep. They have a sneaking suspicion that that could be happening. Complexity right under their noses, not gonna allow it to happen. I mean, look at their team. It's like built for Roche fighting. Yes. Epicenter, Burrow, Call Down. Even uh, Leshrac had a really good stun in there. And Lou was very patient in that fight. He waited for the BKB durations to start ticking out. He mm -hmm. didn't rush his stun. He knew that his team would be okay without him. Very well done. Kinguin, and that was the desperation play. I think it was a very good one. That was probably the best opportunity that they were going to get because the only way that you're going to beat complexity is by barreling down here. As you see, everyone jumps in. You notice Moo in the top left. He waits it out. Then gets a very free ultimate. And they, honestly, they just don't have the damage. Like, Chessie's right in the middle, and they're trying to lay damage into him. He only gets down to half HP. Yeah, this Wisp is doing so much work right now. Yeah, Deep Reek right on the outside. Really good tether. And Limp picks up his next major item uh, with the Butterfly. And Kinguin right now, it looks like... That's the annoying part is you can't tell the smokes, like how many they have left. Oh, I'm yeah, pretty sure though, Kinguin I mean, has no smokes left. They used three in a row. There's no yeah. way that they have any The back-to-back -back one. Shop. You rarely see that back-to-back -back one, which is why complexity is not coming. They're just like, there's... They're most likely still looking for a fight because they can't give up on those opportunities anymore. Yeah. Uh, but in this game now, it's going to come down to Kinguin playing the high ground game. Their inability to make moves with initiators means that they have to let complexity come into them. That's how you force a move. Does feel like that uh, we're seeing a little bit different complexity here in this game three against Kinguin, such high stakes. We were talking to him earlier. It felt like complexity. They didn't get beat. Some of their games, they felt like they got, they lost. Yeah. Right? That they, they lost the lead that they had. And here, complexity has been very patient holding on to this game. All right, attack. Attack Wisp is target. online. On top of that, he's got the 60 damage mm -hmm. and he has a Vlad's. Yeah. And he's got an arm. And he's lane. got an arm. Oh, Z Freak's feeling himself right now. Wow. I mean, he does it with the gyrocopter, so that's a lot of Wisp balls flying out. 17k lead and this game feels really rough. I'm struggling to like find a way that King Win is supposed to win this. They need picture perfect initiation just to have a chance in a team fight. But how? Like yeah. the, the Doom, he has to Shadow Blade in every time. So it's not even like his initiations can be ideal. And Moo's got a gem now. Uh, so he's got to walk in. By that time, unless he finds like a high ground angle, Chessy will almost always get his ultimate off. Yeah. There's even the. Uh... Now have Reality Rift, piercing spell immunity, so the BKBs from Kinguin still not going to prevent their deaths. Chessie's just going to be able to grab one of these heroes, pull them into the Phantasms. Radiance, has fallen. Dyer's bottom 
Down the top lane. lane. Are you getting in tier two trade off here, but complexity are gonna immediately go for the high ground. TPing back is King Gwyn, but they're gonna be a little bit late here. Or maybe not, they're good. No. This time around, they come back quite early. They understand that a trade is not good for them. Yeah. If they trade racks for racks, uh, complexity will just immediately barrel towards bottom once they're in the base on a post. It did mean that uh, weren't able to get that tier two finished off just yet. Oh, At least, what you though. doing? I guess they just poked. There must have been like some weird angle where he didn't see him. All right. Penguin just gathered up. They're all. They have a lot of invis. They've got three heroes that can go invisible. Black City really don't split up for very long. Yeah. They don't. Not in this game. They understand their position in the game as Mu. Gonna catch him. Finally, at least Sasha's gonna be spotted in these trees. He tried to go for it. Yeah, he's saving his stun so he can't TP, but it's irrelevant. The damage is way too high. Now, three homing missile charges. Is that the one to go for? Um, I think it's better than Global Calldown in, in this kind of game. You're only fighting inside of Kingwin's base. I don't think you need a whole lot of range for your call down in this game. That's true. They also have relocate to push out waves. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal. They're waiting for their creep wave and then they'll go in. Man, this gyrocopter wisps actually crazy. Between like the Aghanims getting him the side gunner. Yeah. And then he's also attacking because the side gunner's attacking. You notice that uh, the IO isn't committing to the tether fight yet? Because no. he's afraid of somebody getting doomed. He's just chilling out. They are going to get the swap back on to Lin. And now the go for the recall back. But they do manage to get Chassis in a position to jump forward. Trying to go for a Sonic here. With a black headed shot. Nisha barely managed to get an escape back. But here comes the epicenter. Able to clean out both the Doom and the Nyx assassin. Even though they're going down. But Nisha, he was the target that Chassis was hoping to be able to get. And he had to get back to the bounce. But here comes with the Doom already on him. Lin doesn't really care. He's just going to keep pushing forward. Right click down these heroes. One, two, three. King Wynn are losing everybody. And they're going to call it here. GG. Kingwin is out losing to Complexity, who are going to move on to top four here at the Perfect World Masters. Very well done. Very clean game for Complexity. Unfortunate tournament run end for Kingwin, who I think surprised a lot of people. They gave teams a really good showing. Top yep. the groups, of course, so they can hold their heads up high in their first major international line. Absolutely. I mean, Kingwin. They, they've been around for a while, right? But these guys are still young, and they still haven't experienced a whole lot of international Dota. And this is just the first taste for them.